Hi there and welcome back. Let's review anxiety disorder today. Anxiety disorder is a mental health disorder characterized by feelings of worry, anxiety or fear that are strong enough to interfere with one's daily activities. Examples of anxiety disorders include panic attacks, obsessive compulsive disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. More than 3 million US cases per year when we talk about anxiety disorder are suffering from. What are the different types of anxiety disorder? Well, first and foremost, generalized anxiety disorder. This is excessive, unrealistic worry and tension even if there is little or nothing to provoke the anxiety. Specific phobias. So these are the intense fears of a specific object or situation such as heights or flying. The level of fear is usually inappropriate to the situation and may cause you to avoid common everyday situations. Panic disorder. People with this condition have feeling of terror that strikes suddenly and repeatedly with no warning. Other symptoms of a panic attack include sweating, chest pain, palpitations, unusually strong or irregular heartbeats, and a feeling of choking. It can feel like you are having a heart attack or going crazy. Then there could be another variation or type called social anxiety disorder, also called social phobia. This involves overwhelming worry and self-consciousness about everyday social situations. The worry often centers on a fear of being judged by others or behaving in a way that might cause embarrassment or lead to ridicule. So, what are the symptoms? Symptoms include muscle tension, numbness or tingling in the hands or feet, not being able to be still and calm, shortness of breath, feelings of panic, fear, uneasiness, cold or sweaty hands or feet, problem sleeping, dizziness, nausea, dry mouth and sometimes even heart palpitations. So what are the causes of anxiety disorder? The exact cause of anxiety disorders is unknown, but anxiety disorders like other forms of mental illness are not the result of personal weakness, a character flaw or poor upbringing. As scientists continue their research on mental illness, it is becoming clear that many of these disorders are caused by a combination of factors including changes in the brain and environmental stress. In addition, studies have shown that anxiety disorders can run in families which means that they can at least partly be inherited from one or both parents similar to the genetic risk for heart disease or cancer. How do we diagnose anxiety disorder? It starts with physical exam. There are no lab tests to specifically diagnose anxiety disorder, but the doctor may use various tests to look for other medical illnesses as the cause may be the symptoms. If no other medical illness is found, you may be referred to a psychiatrist, psychologist or another mental health professional who is specifically trained to diagnose and treat mental illnesses. Psychiatrists and psychologists usually design the interview and they use the assessment tools to evaluate a person for an anxiety disorder. So how do we treat anxiety disorder? The treatment includes medication, psychotherapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, relaxation therapy, dietary and lifestyle changes.
how do we underwrite? Look for any hospitalization or suicidal attempts, any time lost at work or in a school, any adverse driving history, any issues concerning alcohol or other substance mis misuse, any other mental disorder, any disability info that you may find in the medical records, plug those details into your company specifics and underwriting manual to arrive at the best possible offer that you can extend. Okay, so let's finish the anxiety disorder for now and see you soon. Take care. Bye now.